the second week of Advent is when we think about the prophets and the way in which they steered the children of God as they walked towards the coming of his kingdom. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, just and true. To you be praise and glory forever. Of old you spoke by the mouth of your prophets, but in our days you speak through your Son, whom you have appointed the heir of all things. Grant us, your people, to walk in his light, that we may be found ready and watching when he comes again in glory and judgment, for you are our light and our salvation. Blessed be God forever. A reading for the second Sunday in Advent from Isaiah chapter 55 and beginning at the first verse. Come, all who are thirsty, come fetch water. Come you who have no food, buy corn and eat. Come and buy, not for money, not for a price. Why spend money and get no bread? Why give the price of your labour and go unsatisfied? Only listen to me and you will have good food to eat and you will enjoy the fat of the land. Come to me and listen to my words. Hear me, and you shall have life. I will make a covenant with you this time for ever, to love you faithfully as I loved David. I made him a witness to all races, a prince and instructor of peoples, and you in turn shall summon nations you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall come running to you, because the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, has glorified you. Inquire of the Lord while he is present. Call upon him while he is close at hand. Let the wicked abandon their ways and evil men their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord who will have pity on them. Return to our God, for he will freely forgive. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and your ways are not my ways. This is the very word of the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. And as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return until they've watered the earth, making it blossom and bear fruit, and give seed for sowing and bread to eat, so shall the word which comes from my mouth prevail. It shall not return to me fruitless, without accomplishing my purpose, or succeeding in the task I gave it. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. People of God, be glad. Your God delights in you, giving you joy for sadness and turning the dark to light. Be strong in hope, therefore, for your God comes to save. You are God's children. Lord, make us one in the love of Christ, today and forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.